Got main bit of uh, dual batteries are all wired up now. And this is the power panel. Just got to finish wiring that up. Uh, there's no to solar yet because obviously I haven't got a, a uh, solar panel. That's what I'm looking for. So I'll do that when I get one of them. But just need to strap battery down in that gap there. Neaten all cables up. Run a main pos and negative fuse board. And jobs are good on. Alright, I call it a night now, but that's where the battery's living. Just need to decide how I'm going to strap it down. I'll plan where to use a couple of little D links and uh, a little ratchet strap just to keep it in place. But I need to have a good look underneath and just see how much clearance I've got with fuel tanks. See if I can get some riv nuts in there. Uh, power panel it's on. And so you've got your uh, MPPT, t MPPT charger for solar panel. Uh, DC DC charger, it's 30 amp that one, and then fuse box with plenty of fuses on there, and then two 12 volt outlets. One's going to be for the fridge, and then one's just a spare, just with how else want to plug in. Right, and that's all nice and neat. I thought I'd show you again what it's pretty much going to look like. Um, two 16 mil cables, 110 amp, obviously positive straight off at main battery. Runs down its chassis and up through grommets. Neg, I've put on its own brand new earth point on the chassis, so it's got a nice clean, good earth that's not too far away. Um, come up here and go right back at panel. Obviously, pause from the main battery straight into those. Um, they're six mil straight off a battery, and they go to the fuse board. So I've got 12 fuses on there. I'm some very unlikely to use all them but and it's have spares so yeah like i've seen unlikely to use 12 ports but at least they're there in case i need them uh two 12 volt outlets there i were originally going to use one for the fridge but i think now i'm going to put an anderson connector over that side just a bit more secure for when we're off road at least we know it's not going to vibrate out or anything um solar charger mppt obviously not wired up yet i haven't got a solar panel so if you've got any suggestions for one of them send them my way please uh, next plan, I've got to make an extension cable to run up to the tent, so it's going to charge as phones and power as lights. And then the next job is going to be a cable to the front for four more USB ports, and then at least we can charge as phones directly off of this battery, because I have other things plugged in, limited in the amount that there are in front of a D3. Uh, pretty much happy days then. Set of, I need to get a set of bolt covers for terminals on there and just got to work it out. Uh, something else I forgot to mention as well, there's a 40 amp fuse on top of the battery and then there's a 50 amp one straight off of the main battery in engine bay as well. Obviously protect it all on both sides and then like I said, I've used 16 mil cable for main power, 6 mil straight off my battery, feeds to fuse board and I'll be using 1.5 mil after that which yeah, that can take about 20 amp anyway, so it's more than enough. I should, well, if I'm ever pulling more power than that, then I'm probably on fire anyway, so shouldn't need to worry. Right, battery tie down points are in. A bit awkward, but you can't be a thing there, can you? Kind of get just a bit anyway, don't you? That battery is definitely not going to go anywhere. There we go, nice and neat, all cap and soundproofing back down now. Stick battery back in, chuck some rubber on top of it to protect terminals for now, and jobs are good. Oh, well, there we go. Battery secured down, not going to go anywhere. Bit of rubber on top just to protect terminals, obviously. Make sure we don't catch them out. Use one of my funky straps from Damar Webbing. I have to get some short ones ordered though, because I've had to use a 5 meter one there. 